Hello. Oh, I see. You, you can understand why I was giving you a quizzical look that you walked all the way downstairs just to use my garbage can. Maybe I have some oh my gosh, the spiders in here, right? Yes, yesterday I vacuumed up a spider. It's alive, it, it was not alive. Because I, I vacuumed the spider up and it, was, it got sucked up into the holder. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> the canister. And then this morning I checked on it and his legs were like all curled up. And then I flicked the thing a few times and he did not move. So he might just be like a really sound sleeper, but I think he's, uh, I think he's cooked, honestly. Oh, man. The spider, I mean, I don't want to be like super rude to the spider. He knew what he was getting into. I told him, I got no problem with the spider. There's two things. Stay out of my house. And if you're in my house, don't let my wife see you. Well, you see all the bugs that you see. <laughs> so now, so now we're just we're vacuuming every bug now. Because the reason I vacuumed the spider was because it was on the ceiling. Like I couldn't reach it without a ladder. This one was just on the ground. I could have just picked it up with a tissue or something. <laughs> It's not, not me getting roasted for vacuuming up the spider and then she's just sucking them up, man. How many bugs do you all have? A lot. Like, and it's, like, our house is clean. It's just bugs get in, man. I didn't realize, like, we used to live in the city, city, and I wouldn't see anything. You might see, like, a, like, I, I literally was an idiot until we moved. I was telling people that Vancouver is mosquito free. I hadn't had a mosquito bite in like nine years or something like that. And people would come visit and they'd be like, what do you like about Vancouver? And I'd be like, there's, there's literally no bugs. Then we moved a little bit outside of the concrete jungle. There's fucking bugs everywhere. Spiders, worms. I consider worms a bug. Slugs, ants. Don't even get me started with like, you know, flies and gnats and et cetera, et cetera. I don't like, I don't like worms, man. I don't know, something, I, I didn't have a problem with any of this stuff. I actually think that like getting a, an education in biology kind of like ruined my brain. When I was a kid, I had no issue with any bugs on earth. Now, almost every bug kind of grosses me out. Like I'm not afraid of it, I'm just kind of like annoyed by it. Worms are the most annoying for me right now because we get like a lot of them. Especially like when the leaves would fall, right? They would make like a pile. And then every weekend I would pick up the pile and there would be like nine worms underneath. And as soon as I pull the pile up, they're like, Here's a, the jig is up, boys, scatter. And then they go like... And they're trying to get to like this, this storm drain that has like water and I don't know, gross stuff that worms like to eat. They're going. And I'm like, just go, dude. It takes you so long. And I'm like disgusted the whole time. They're just living. I know, but like, leave me out of it. <laughs> like, I don't have a problem with the worm as long as I never come in contact with them ever again. Oh, we win these. Dude, 10 piece. Tomo wins fatality, what a name. I, what's crazy is that I actually think it's basically like a survival mechanism. Be a super auto fish. Like people act like I'm the weird one. But like the more alike to a human being that an animal is, the more I find it like tolerable and, and maybe even precious, you know? Pretty much all mammals, I'm okay with. I got no problem with any mammal, I think. Yeah, there's some mammals that are like a little weird, but I'm like, eh, you know, we're all in this together. 
It's when the, the fish, it's like some fish I'm okay with, but once you get into like the really weird deep sea ones, I'm like, no thanks. And then the bug kingdom and the uh, nematodes and uh, st what about, uh, what are they called? Mollusks, like anything like that, anything that's like goo with a shell. The older I get, the more I'm like, this, you do you, brother, but stay out of my fucking business, okay? Like a jellyfish freak me out, man. I know this is like old. I'm not just trying to rehash a bit. This is like my life. This is inside of my brain. Jellyfish is like the most detestable creature on planet Earth. They're, oh, they're beautiful. They're majestic. It's a fucking electric bag in the water. I'm not even worried about being stung. It's the fact that it's just a bag responding to its environment. Like, that's not right, bro. Is that not cool? Yeah, it's cool in the same way that, like, you know, hereditary is cool. It makes me feel a little icky. Yeah, they should not be responding to their environment. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, in my head, because I'm just one guy, but, you know, what makes me the king of the jellyfish? My brain, when I, when I know that a jellyfish responds to its environment, I'm like, you shouldn't be doing that. You're a bag. They've been around longer than you. Yeah, and they got, like, fuck all the show for it. So, first off, they should be embarrassed, which I think is what you were getting at. Square up with a man of war. <laughs> it is a funny expression. Aren't we bags of water? Yeah, but, okay, there's a couple of things. The first one is I'm me, so I'm not going to find myself as gross as I find things that are, like, a little alien to me. The second thing is... Like, we've abstracted it with language and our faces and emotions and stuff like that. Netflix. Jellyfish are just out there, like, nakedly exposing their biological desires all the time. We pretend, and I think that that's great. Most of the time, you know, maybe there's like a little something in your cerebellum that's like, I want to eat matter, like I want to eat carbon. But for the most part, we're like, oh, I can't wait to get home so I can look at my phone. Like, that's cool. Like, we're almost robots. There's something clean about that to me. Other animals, even like mammals, are, they're animals like most of the time. But like bugs, it's literally just like, it's, it's almost like the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Sorry, I've, I've lost neuroplasticity. I want to say micro machines. What is what is the gray goo dystopia apocalypse theory? Nano nano machines, not micro machines. Micro machines are cars. Like slugs and worms and jellyfish are like nano machines to me. It's like they shouldn't. It's like a glitch in the matrix. It's a bag that is just designed to suck up resources and not actually ever produce anything like past lives or Rashomon or something like that. Like you're literally just eating matter just to eat matter. Like what are you doing, bro? We've got higher minded ideals here. And that, for that reason, I respect us. But most humans do the same thing. I don't think so. Like I'm not denying that you know, we're animals. Obviously, human beings are animals. But I think most people are like, oh, you know, I can't wait for the weekend to get here so I can, you know, watch the Vikings game or something like that. I think that... Now, things might change if society fell apart. They might be like, you know, give me your, your carbon, but... For now... <laughs> for now, everything's like... Most people are not concerning themselves with the basic trappings of animalia. Anyway, the other thing that I think is worth mentioning is it doesn't matter if my opinion on this makes sense. Like, if I could have debated it out of myself, it would have happened by now. Can I get a unit that I already have? Yeah, well, we're not the same, are we? Because my favorite commercial is, let's pretend we don't exist. Let's go to Outback tonight. I dream of bloke-sized lagers. Let's forget we ordered blooming onions now. Let's order two appetizers. I'll get the bloke sized cactus fries. You'll get the blooming onion burger. Let's pretend we don't exist. Let's go to our back tonight. <laughs>